Well, how's everybody doing? Uh, I've had some questions on my 2213, my JBL 2213 uh, recone kit, and why is it so expensive? Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of a uh, layer by layer explanation of why that is. So, we will start with the naked cone which is basically this this cone minus the surround now it'd be minus the surround which it'll look like that but this is the this is the raw cone this one already has the surround attached to it because this one is for actually for a d123 which uses the same cone without the aquaplos so we'll set that aside this is what the raw cone looks like after the aquaplos has been applied to it and the aquaplos is there to add mass and actually dampen the cone to reduce some of the high frequencies but mostly to dampen the cone to lower the uh, uh, free air resonance and give it uh, a bit better base re well quite a bit better base response so then we go to uh, attaching this this surround to the back of the cone And we also need to assemble the, the, the spider and the voice coil. We'll set those aside. So the end result is this assembled 2213 recon kit. And this one is also the same recone kit for the consumer version of the the 123A-3. 123A-3 and the 2213, the El Nico version, are the same driver. This also applies to the 2212 123A-1 driver, which actually has a smaller diameter spider. Everything else is basically the same. So, there's the recount kit. 